It is raining in Houston, Texas. Yeehaw! Finally! It is a beautiful Northwest Washington day. In Washington, this is your everyday weather. I know I lived there for a long time. This is what they call bright cloudiness. It's kind of cold, at least compared to a normal Texas day. And it's dreary, and it's wet. And that's why everything's so green in Washington. But that's not why I made this video. About 5 o'clock this morning, I heard a thud against the house. And it wasn't very windy, and I didn't understand what was going on. And then I came out to check the first flush system and found that the second arm of the first flush system had fallen over. Uh, again, as I mentioned in the video, I didn't glue anything because I'm still just testing. <clears throat> So that was fine, but when I looked inside, I didn't see the water bottle that I had put in there as a float to uh, stop the floaties. So I, uh, I did take off the, the end cap here, and just a whole bunch of dirty water just flooded out, which was great, because the water up here is nice and clean. And then I thought, well, I wonder how dirty this water is. So I took this cap off, and uh, not as much, but uh, quite a bit of dirty water came out of there too. So. I know that the first flush system works, so it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, but the bottle didn't float. So what I did is I got a scrap piece of uh, tubing, a PVC that I had left over, and I just put it down on the bottom of the pipe. I put the bottle in, and then I put this inside the bottom, which, which uh, pushed this further inside around the, around the neck, and then it floated up just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, just so you can kind of see the bottle come up. I'm going to put the camera down because it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to put uh, this in first, then I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to put the end cap on, and with this rain, it'll probably take maybe a couple minutes to fill up the pipe. Okay, I've got it assembled. I still have this as it, so it's still dripping out, slow drip. Uh, hopefully the bottle is coming up now and floating up to the top. As we hear the, the pitch change, we we'll know that the bottle is almost to the, to the uh, elbow here. Look at that nice, clean rainwater. I was asked uh, if I need what, what I need to do to purify it, and I, my response was, I don't plan on purifying it. Uh, I think it's great the way it is. Oh, here comes the bottle. There it goes. There it is. And it's on its way up. It's working. Look at that. It's probably about as high as it's going to get because the water's going to come up. And it would continue to float up. I don't know, I'm going to see if I can't. No, I can't really do that. It will continue to float up as the water level increases. Obviously. There it goes. Let's see if I can raise it up a little more. There it is. Floating on its way up. Okay. So as I was saying, so that looks like it works great. Put a little space in below so it gets around the elbow. So as I was saying, I don't plan on filter, uh, purifying my water because I think this is great the way it is. However, I, I would follow the directions on adding chlorine, just a little bit of chlorine to the water, and letting it settle so it can air out, and then you can drink water if you're worried about uh, drinking straight rainwater. But man, I love rainwater. It is so good tasting. There we go. So there's the first flush system. I'm going to go ahead and, and close this back up because I want to test the overflow. So we're going to put we're going to put this other two back on. I'm just going to hold it on with a, a couple zip ties, and and then uh, we'll see how the overflow works. The overflow is working great. However, we are getting a little bit of overflow up here out of the vent. So. I've got uh, an extra piece of PVC that I haven't left over. I'm just going to add it to this, go up a little bit further, and we'll see if that solves the problem. I took just a scrap piece of PVC. I didn't cut it. That's just how long the scrap was. And I, I added a connection to it here. And it took care of the problem. It just needs to be a little bit higher than this here. So I would probably say, 
uh, a foot or, or so ab above here, and then you won't have the leaking coming out of there. But that certainly took care of the problem. All the water is uh, coming out through the overflow. Things are looking great. I'm excited. It's raining. Life couldn't be much better than this. And if I complained, it wouldn't do any good anyway. So, hope you enjoyed this follow-up. It looks like everything is now working as hoped. Little adjustment down here with the uh, scrap piece of PVC to get the bottle around the corner. Little adjustment up there to make it uh, tall. And this is again why I didn't glue everything uh, so I can make these adjustments. Awesome. We'll uh, talk to you later. This is LDS Prepper out.